here to Guildhall, which has stood at the heart of the UK's commercial, cultural and charitable endeavour for over 600 years. And a real, real welcome to you all for tonight's celebration of the uniformed youth organisations in London. It is the volunteers who make each of these new organisations. They make it work. They keep it going. They develop it in the right way. They can influence. Thus, in the words of a previous Prime Minister, uniform is a force for good. Both of us went on an international trip to Zambia last year with um, Girl Guiding. Um, it's also an opportunity to make loads of new friends. You get to come to exciting events like this and there's lots of different opportunities available. I'm uh, Sub-Lieutenant Carl Lever from Kingston and District Sea Cadets, uh, Commanding Officer of TS Steadfast in Kingston upon Thames. What I get out of it is uh, a great sense of satisfaction really t teaching young people and really making them better citizens for their futures and giving them opportunities maybe others don't have or they wouldn't normally have. We're here tonight to celebrate our involvement uh, representing the police cadets over the Diamond Jubilee period. Uh, we was police in Hyde Park with a group of cadets making sure the area was safe and giving them an insight into the police basically. Yeah, um, I would say we were also there to help the members of the public make sure they get home safe during the Jubilee period. I joined Police Cadets because I thought it would be a really exciting new experience that I've not really done before. Um, an opportunity to give back to the community and it was local to school so we had something else to do. I just thought it was an opportunity that you couldn't pass up and when you get offered something to be really involved then you just have to take it because it's, it's given me so much from it so I'm really happy. I'm here this evening because uh, I took our cadets from 291 Squadron to sell programmes at Hyde Park for the Royal Wedding. Uh, and after the wedding we were luckily invited to the concert that was held at Buckingham Palace. I'm here this evening to perform as part of the Kingston Morden Scout Guide Band, which is a great honour for us today. I was um, involved in the Jubilee. I was um, selling programmes by the river and got very, very wet. We've been involved in nearly all the events in London this year. Um, we've been at every single uh, event providing first aid cover and also ceremonial uh, things such as the cenotaph we paraded at. Um, I love to volunteer for all the other cadets that give up their time. I find that going out and providing first aid, uh, which we learn at the units, for all the people in the community is just a fantastic feeling to give back in that way. It's nice to be thanked and tonight it, it's a really nice atmosphere and it's, it's just nice to have like recognition. I mean we didn't do much but it's a nice event to be invited to. It's also nice to see other other cadets and other diff yeah. different types of um, groups and like mingle with them. My position has been Deputy Head of Community Safety at London Fire Brigade. At the moment we've got a couple of volunteer uh, community fire cadet schemes running but most of them are using our existing staff. What we want to do is expand them out into nine boroughs so this time in 12 months time, in, 12, in, in a year's time, we'll be have cadets running in nine boroughs but using a, a volunteer basis and we're currently recruiting adult volunteers to provide the service to lead the young people to do that now. I'm mainly an adult volunteer because of the skills it te taught me as a, as a youngster. It certainly kept me out of trouble, taught me uh, teamwork, discipline, leadership and now it's a part of my life that I couldn't imagine not doing it. Um, it's very important to me I get to exercise with the kids which is good and um, I also get to do things that I don't in my normal daily life. With the support demonstrated by the corporation at events such as this, I firmly believe that we can look forward to continued success. So on behalf of myself, the U London Board and the 16,000 volunteers, including those present here this evening, to the corporation, a very big thank you. Thank you.